our favorite friend in the entire world is finally here. UPS is here, Hoss. Hi. Hello, kind buddy. Do you think he's got my Cerakote? Why are you spying on the UPS man? Cerakote? Yeah. 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 Hello? Hello, Cerakote. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I know I look funny. I finally shaved after like a month of not shaving. I'm really trying to not look so freaking bummy these days. So as you guys saw, UPS came through today with our Cerakote and some other packages. I'm really, really excited to test this out on our transmission cases. I do think this is quite a bit different of a curing or application process versus the clear coat we did on the transfer case. That was a two hour cure time in the oven at 250. I'm pretty sure this is only an hour cure time, but you have to do an hour before as well. Stop along those lines. Let's open it up, see what we got. Satin aluminum. I wanted something as close to a bare glass beaded aluminum finish as possible, but also like a coating as well that's not clear. So I called them up, they said, hey, let's do satin aluminum. And I said, okay, let's do it. So here we are, we got some and we're gonna test it out. I wanna do it on a piece, actually this would probably be perfect. I wanna test it out on a piece that's not massive at first, just in case we don't like the color for whatever reason. So we're gonna be doing this little shift lever cover housing type thing that sits on the transmission right there. And we can kind of compare this to all the other glass beaded parts that we have and make sure it's gonna be what we're after. All right, I'm checking over the application guide right now. Cerakote recommends to soak all the parts in like acetone or degreaser for 30 minutes. Now, of course we don't have a bin big enough to soak an entire transmission in. And not only that, that'd be like 10 grand in acetone. I just talked to Cerakote again and they recommended to spray everything down with brake cleaner multiple times, wipe it off, spray it again, wipe it off until there's nothing left on the rag. And then we're gonna sandblast it. And then after that, you put it in the oven for 60 minutes outgas the part, pull it out, let it cool down, spray it out, throw it back in for another 60 minutes, and then it's cured. So that's the process. We could definitely soak this in acetone, but I wanna make sure this process is gonna work. So I'm gonna do this with the brake cleaner method, and then we can move on from there. So we got our test piece all cleaned up. We're gonna let that brake cleaner evaporate and then we're gonna sandblast it. After you sandblast it, you have to wear gloves. You cannot get any sort of oil on the part. We're gonna give this thing 60 minutes at 300 degrees, and then we can pull it out and get that Cerakote sprayed. Our tester piece is all baked out, gassed out, ready to go. As long as there's no oil residue you see seeping out of places, you should be ready to go ahead and spray the Cerakote as soon as it's cooled down. And I don't see anything going on, so let's let that guy cool down for probably 20 minutes, and we can spray it out. With this Cerakote here, we can either go 24 to one, 18 to one, or 12 to one depending on how we want the finish. So matte finish should be 24 to one. You can just check out this chart here. So let's jump right in the center, satin finish. It is a satin aluminum. We can always adjust from there based off what we see with this test piece. If it's too matte of a finish, we'll bump it up. Or if it's too glossy, we'll bump it down. So let's go and get some mixed up at 18 to one. They do say to use a glass cup and I don't have one here, provided that this is exactly what we need. For the rest of the trans, I'm gonna have to go find a glass cup because they say specifically do not use plastic.
Man, if this thing stays looking like that after we bake it, that is exactly 100% to the T what we're after. That looks so good. Look at this. Look at that color. We are just using this cheapo Harbor Freight HVLP little touch-up gun again with the 0.8 millimeter tip. Pretty sure that tip size is fairly crucial, so make sure you spray with that exact tip size, 0.8 millimeter. We're gonna let this thing sit for 15 minutes and then slap it in the oven, 300 degrees for one hour. As soon as it's cooled down, after we pull it out, she's done and we can see how it looks. One important thing to note with the Cerakote, they recommend, I don't know if it's a requirement, but they recommend blasting the part with a little bit more of abrasive media. We are using that green diamond again. I think they recommended, what was it, 100 grit? Yeah, about 100 grit um, sand. So the glass bead, you don't really want to use. We did use it with the clear coat just because we were trying to maintain that more shiny finish, but you need that mechanical adhesion with a rough surface for this stuff to properly adhere. So I'd recommend using about 100 grit media. Also definitely wear a mask when you're spraying Cerakote. This stuff is not, not fun. It's not safe. It doesn't smell good, doesn't feel good. It's nasty. I'm about 98% sure that this is exactly what we're after. I'm just worried it might change during the curing process. But nonetheless, let's move on to the transmission case. We gotta get it cleaned with the brake cleaner, let that evaporate, throw it in the sand blaster, re-blast it. Provided that this test piece is a proper color, we can then coat the trans. After this thing is coated, we're gonna have to go through and really take some time and get all that sand out of it. This is exactly what we were after. Look at that. Didn't really change at all in the curing process inside the oven. Let's go set her next to, it's still a little bit warm, I don't wanna mess up the coating. I don't think it would. Ow, fuck. Let's grab a fully glass beaded piece and see how close it actually is. I think it looks better, not gonna lie, but it's close. Just a touch more shine to it, which honestly, I think it looks better. That's glass bead. That's obviously the star coated piece. 100% spot on, Cerakote, you guys knocked it out of the park with this color. This car is gonna look so good. I'm so excited now. I was stressed before, but now I'm like stoked. I'm really, really stoked to get this thing done. We just got the first transmission case in the oven. It's all prepped out, ready to go. So we gotta pre-bake that guy for an hour. We can pull it out, do the whole process over again. We're gonna have to do that twice because obviously the whole tranny won't fit in the oven. It's a big, it's a big boy tranny, so. We have to do that twice. And I actually did not do any masking whatsoever on the transmission case. The reason for that is even if we get Cerakote inside the threads, it doesn't matter because the Cerakote is so, it's so freaking thin. I kind of look at Cerakote almost like anodizing. It's like so thin yet so durable that you don't really need to mask anything off. So I decided not to mask anything. We should be completely good. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Let's do this. I'm gonna head to Walmart right now. We need to find a little glass container to mix all the Cerakote in. And I'm gonna buy some cookie sheets. When I talked to Cerakote on the phone, I kind of mentioned that some of the clear looked almost yellowish. And they said I was burning the clear on the transfer case. And it's not a bad look whatsoever. It's just a little bit more yellow than I thought it should have been. And they totally agreed. They said, yeah, you're probably burning it. Thanks to my very, very nice oven but they recommended to put cookie sheets over the heater elements so it kind of diffuses the heat so we don't have hot spots on the part. So let's go grab some cookie sheets for when we're actually baking the coat. We do not run into that issue again. The good old daily cold start for the boys.
So we got this nice little baking pan. Hopefully that helps with the situation. And then this guy here is gonna be game changer. So we won't have to use mixing sticks. All we're gonna do is pour the Cerakote in this glass little cup. Seal that there lid. If she'll seal. Ooh, Walmart quality. And then we can just shake it up like that. Dump it into the gun through a strainer and we'll be good to go. We got our little diffuser in here. It's a perfect fit. I hope that's safe. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I think that's gonna help if we do run into any sort of hot spots, which I know you're having. We should be good now. Just pulled this guy out of the oven. We gotta let it cool down. Then we can spray the first actual big piece. And I'm excited for that because this color is just beautiful. Wow. Here's a good comparison of the change that occurs in the oven. Here's a little side by side. You can see that one's quite a bit more shiny, I guess you could say. Like more of an aluminum look. This one's like very dull. That is such a beautiful finish. Wow. I'm stoked. I just realized that we now have a new problem. Let me show you guys our problem. It's not an, a big issue, but it's an issue that came up and I don't like it. Look at the difference. It wouldn't be a big deal if the transfer case didn't bolt literally right onto the transmission, so they're side by side. Transfer case is here, transmission literally bolts under here to the transfer. This is not okay, I don't like this. Now maybe I will redo it to the same color, maybe I won't, I don't know, what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Should we redo it while everything is apart? Obviously it'd be way easier to, to fix this issue now versus later when we're putting the car back together and then we sit there and we're like, that, that don't look right. Drop a comment below. Well guys, we done did it. We pulled apart the transfer case. I figured that it's best to do it now versus later. So that's the end result. Cheers. All I got in the fridge tonight is Bud Light Lime, but it's gonna be a very, very long night because re coating the transfer is probably gonna add five hours to our day and it's already 8 p.m. Sick. At least it's Friday night though. Friday night calls for a Bud Light Lamb. Tranny looks good. Tranny's all finished up, 100%. Here is how the cases look. I really don't want to assemble this thing, <sighs> but we probably should get working on it while the transfer is in the oven. Yep, she looks beautiful. Drop a comment below. What do you guys think? Too nice, too much sauce. I think it's too much sauce. So the first thing we need to do is of course go through and completely clean the cases. I don't, know if brake cleaner is gonna affect the Cerakote at all. I don't think it would, but I don't wanna risk it. So I'm gonna use the greaser and a pressure washer and compressed air for as long as I feel that it's necessary to get any sort of sand or debris out of them. But being that they're completely gutted, there's honestly not a lot of places sand can even be stuck. Maybe in those little holes right there, but other than that, not really. I am not really too worried about it, uh, but yeah, let's get these things cleaned up. Also something cool I've never really explained or showed on camera is, check this out. This is a ceramic based coating, correct? You see that? It's like a Avalon King ceramic coated paint or wrap, same concept. Thank you. 
Okay, so we have our entire transmission laid out here. We got the case halves and all of the internals, the gear sets and whatnot are in this box here. So the first thing we're gonna do is slide this guy in there. That's easy, just sits right down in there. And then the gear sets go in, all that's fairly simple. The problem that I foresee, the shift fork, shift pin, all the balls that sit in there, all the whole assembly is confusing to me, but we're gonna get it figured out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this party started. Cheers, boys. All right, we finally got all the gear sets in there, which was fairly complicated. You pretty much had to drop all three shafts with all the gears on all together at the same time, all three in at the same time. You can't just put like one in, then the next, then the next. Cracking a cold one up there, aren't you? We need to hurry up and get these things sprayed out because it's getting late and these have to go in the oven for another hour. So let's bang that out real quick, get everything coated. I'm doing everything at once. I got it all to fit. I kind of just stacked these two pieces. So yeah, let's get these Cerakoted and then hopefully by the end of the night, this transmission will be complete. So I have one hour to get all this figured out, which that's easy, but is all these balls and springs that might be difficult. <laughs> All right guys, the transfer case parts are in the oven right now. So one hour there. That means we have one hour to get this figured out and based off this Bud Light Lime, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. All right, this is number two. So we have everything right here kind of laid out. I believe that is for the reverse shaft. And then we have one, two, three more shafts, a few forks. I know what all those go for, all these balls and springs and the pins, we need to figure all that out. So I kind of found a little diagram online and I have a ton of photos on my phone from when I took it apart. So I'm just gonna, you know, try to figure it out. Somehow, I don't really know how, but we finally figured it out. I might have to drink Bud Light Lime more often because I'm pretty sure it makes me like smarter. It makes my brain function for some reason over like Corona, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we finally figured it out. Honestly, it wasn't all that bad. As soon as you like find the proper diagram where all those little balls go and the check pins and springs and all that stuff, it kind of all makes sense and it helped that I took a ton of photos on my phone of when we were pulling it apart as well. So super stoked on that. Look how beautiful this transmission looks. I don't want to completely assemble it because I want to make sure everything shifts before I actually seal it up and well, we can't bolt it together yet either because all the hardware is at zinc, but I know it's together properly. I just want to get all the shifting, the whole shifting mechanism in there, kind of run through the gears, make sure we're good to go before I actually seal it up. But dang, that thing looks so good. And then we pulled out the transfer case parts out of the oven. Check this stuff out, boys. This is like next level. I love it. This color is so nice. I am so happy we decided to redo the transfer case from clear to silver. It wasn't that the clear was bad. The clear looked really, really good. But I think this satin aluminum color looks better. And now it's going to match the transmission as well. It looks so nice. Bobby's at home with dinner ready, so you know I can't pass that up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to pick up this exact Cerakote that we just used, I'll have a link down in the description box below. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I think it's well worth it. The jug I have is like $70, and I used about half of that for the entire transmission and the entire transfer, so I guess it's really not all that bad. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm I'm excited that we got this trans done. Now it's onto the transfer case. Hopefully we can get all that sorted out tomorrow. Peace out boys. I'll see you tomorrow.